let's take a deep dive into this Pagani design PD1661, which I will be able to answer your questions by the end of this video of how does it stack up to the Rolex Submariner? Is it a good purchase? Are you getting a watch that keeps accurate time? And are the materials on the watch worth the price? We have a case size of 40 millimeters and thickness is 13 millimeters, lug to lug 53 millimeters, lug width 20 millimeters. And the weight comes in at 153 grams. The watch has a robust build with a 316L stainless steel case, which provides durability and a premium feel. The dimensions make it suitable for a large range of wrist sizes and offers a balanced and comfortable fit. The crystal up top on the dial is sapphire. On the case back, it is a mineral crystal. And uh, the case back is showing off the Seiko NH35 movement, which is one of the most famous movements in all of watchdom. Uh, workhorse, you come up with all the typical jargon. Uh, it is durable, it's great for bang for the buck, it's uh, cheap and cheerful. All those things apply to the NH35, and it does vibrate at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It'll give you a power reserve of 41 hours. The movement is hand windable and hacking. It's just well regarded within the watch community. The accuracy Seiko claims is minus 20 or plus 40 seconds a day. However, you can really expect much better than that. And I've seen people regulate the movement up to three seconds of loss or gain per day, which is pretty incredible. The water resistance is 100 meters. You have a screw down crown that has this unique rubber O-ring uh, inside and you'll be unlikely to find water leaking into the watch unless you go too deep and it is a hundred meters of water resistance. That doesn't really mean you can swim to 300 feet, but it should be good for swimming and, and snorkeling, but deep diving, you would want something that has at least 200 meters. And um, you've got blue loom or blue luminova on this uh, timepiece. And um, in typical Pagani design fashion, it's not really that good. It'll last a few seconds and then you will be clueless as to what time it is because you won't be able to see anything. Um, it looks nice for a few seconds, but then fades away quickly. As I mentioned, it has a ceramic bezel. And one thing I don't like about the bezel is that it has uh, a pretty light feel with it and uh, it sounds good but I would like a tighter feel personally. Maybe you wouldn't, but to each his own. It, it does have 120 clicks and the alignment of the nine marker on the bezel seems to be a little bit off, which is displeasing. The bracelet has solid end links and solid links all around, which is great. Has a dive extension. The clasp has unrefined action. Some of these things in a review, you're gonna to have to experience yourself, but it just doesn't feel right. Uh, with the clasp, it's, I don't know, kind of mushy. And then on the clasp, there's sharp angles. So I wouldn't say you'd cut yourself, but it's not very good feeling if you run your fingers along the clasp. With the packaging, you get a microfiber polishing cloth, a screwdriver, uh, instruction booklet, all in this Pagani design cardboard box. Now, how does it stack up against the Rolex Submariner? Obviously, with the Rolex being over $10,000 and this being a $100 watch, there's gonna be a huge gap in quality. For example, the Rolex movement 
is the Rolex 3135 introduced into the marketplace in 1988. And the Rolex movements are COSC certified. And you're going to get at least minus four or plus six seconds per day. And I've even heard people of getting an astonishing one second per day. And the Rolex movement beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, which gives you a smoother sweep than on this Pagani design at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Pagani design will give you 41 hours of power reserve, whereas the Rolex 3135 will give you 48 hours. The Rolex has a trip lock system inside its uh, screw down crown. And as its name suggests, the trip lock version features three sealed zones at the crown and it provides the ultimate protection from water leaking in to the watch via the crown mechanism but the dual lock system on the pagani design is pretty good with the pagani you get this exhibition case back uh you get a ceramic bezel now i talked about how it doesn't really uh, feel so great for me you might like a lighter uh, action and uh, you know there's some misalignment but you're getting a ceramic bezel and um, you get the basic feel and look of a rolex submariner so i think that this pagani design is an outstanding homage and it offers pretty high quality materials a reliable movement and practical features at an affordable price if you're looking for something a little bit higher quality, the Steinhardt Ocean One might be something to get, but that's like five or six hundred dollars more at least. And uh, for a hundred bucks, you got a, a nice uh, Rolex Submariner homage, and I think you'll be pretty happy with it. So I give it my seal of approval. So go out and get yourself one, and um, you know you have to put up with a few. You know quirks but uh, overall for 100 bucks yeah i think i think uh it'll do you well all right people this rolex 1661 submariner homage man 100 bucks you can't go wrong highly recommend it thumbs up way up on this timepiece yes if you like the video Go ahead and subscribe, please, to the channel. We just hit 5,000 subscribers on Watch You Know. We have over a million views. Also, check out Instagram, over 12,000 followers. We've got uh, 2,000 followers on X and 1,000 followers on TikTok. So check out those other platforms as well. But be sure to watch some more videos here on YouTube and click that subscribe button. Have a great day, great evening, great night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you in that next watch review. Bye.